Hi everyone, it's Tanya Hertz here. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about using uh, the PowerPoints in Canvas, uh, both to turn in an assignment uh, when so requested or, uh, and or to use for studying for your exams. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Canvas system together. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. And when you're in Canvas, you'll see different, uh, different videos, uh, different PowerPoints for uh, each of the modules. And very often you'll see that I've split the PowerPoint lectures up into smaller, more manageable uh, sizes for, for the videos. So here, for example, is a module on stress. And you'll see there's a, a student PowerPoint associated with that. Uh, and then there's also two, two videos that I've recorded on stress and then just a, a little clip of a documentary that I thought was interesting uh, that helped to um, underscore the concepts of this particular uh, module. Now for completing the PowerPoint, it will only be uh, typically the videos that I have um, recorded for you. So if you were to download the PowerPoint, just like I did, um, you can see that there are missing spots in the PowerPoint. And sorry, it's a little bit slow here, but should be popping up here shortly. There it is, PowerPoint. And you'll see on, on the slides that um, right there, see, we have missing spots on these. This is intentional. Some of them will already be filled in, um, but there's always one or two blank spots in the PowerPoint slides. Some of them won't have any missing um, information on them when there isn't text, but you'll see here a couple of missing spots there. The way that you fill these spots in is you watch those videos. And like I said, I've broken them up into to smaller bite-sized chunks of videos. I try not to make any one video more than ideally about 10 minutes long. Some of them will be a little bit longer than that. This one is 15 minutes, right? And this one is, ooh, that's a long one, 18 minutes. So those, those are longer videos. Uh, trying, I'm, I'm working hard to get them, get them down um, shorter, but when you do watch those videos, if you'll see, they have um, Hi everyone. It a is little Tanya. CC there, that's for closed captions. You can watch them right there in the Canvas system, or you can click on YouTube and watch them uh, this way. I, I recommend, if possible, try to do your homework on a laptop. We have Tanya laptops here. for- Tanya professor. Of we have laptop, laptops for rent, for free rent for you um, at San Diego State and at Miramar College. And uh, they're great laptops. I'm using one right now. Uh, and you keep it for the entire semester and then return it when you're done. And uh, you can see here, I'm gonna fast forward. There's those same um, slides that we were looking at, but they're filled in. So as you're watching the videos, you can go ahead and take notes, fill them in. And then periodically there will be little assignments uh, where you have to actually upload those PowerPoints. Uh, it's not, they're not worth a, a lot of points. It's just to kind, kind of keep you on track and make sure that you are, are filling these in and, and getting the most out of them. So I hope that was helpful in terms of the PowerPoints. One other thing I do wanna say before we, we log off on this video is I highly recommend that when you're when you're navigating the course that you use the modules um, rather than just the the back and front. So if you if you just use these little arrows, like um, like if you were back on this chapter or module on satisfaction, and you just do next or previous, you can miss things. And I I just I highly recommend that you instead of using that next and previous. You, you go to the modules and you use the modules that way. And then that way you can look, look through and you can see what you have. And then even, even better would be to use the modules in conjunction with the syllabus. And the syllabus has every due date on it, every assignment, the weight of each of assignments, each of the assignments. I try to break the syllabus down into manageable chunks also here. And I'll say this about the syllabus. It, it is your roadmap of the course. It is um, our contract between one another. 
me saying this is this is what I'm teaching and how roughly I'm teaching it. I'll try not to deviate from the syllabus. Uh, you know, obviously life happens. There will be times we need to change things, but by and large, you can rely on that syllabus uh, to tell you what the course is about. Please do not ask me a question that you can have very quickly, easily answered by just looking in the syllabus. So check there first. Then if you can't find it, then ask me. All right, hope this was helpful. We will talk with you soon. Take care. Bye, everyone.